It's like Christmas for my ears, part one. I dig Eco. This has been a fun brand to follow for high quality and fun in ear monitor earbuds. Their dongle DAC is solid. They bring a fun style to their products. And the new OH2, no exception. Eco sent over these opals for me to take on a test drive, and I'm glad they did. The unboxing is excellent from the magnetic hip hop hipster on the outer packaging to the great collection of ear tips and accessories. These little buds are beautifully accessorized. Case, cable, silicone and foam ear tips, even spare vents for when ear gunk eventually clogs up the ear tips. The presentation is spot on and feels premium for this price tag. The driver casings are fun and they come in a variety of colors. I I don't rate aesthetics that high for headphones, but this is a fun look in green. They're nice. They feel nice. The cable is premium and the connectors on this boot feel sturdy. They're smaller, lighter IEMs in metal and plastic. And I think many will appreciate the look and attention to details like the oval shaped arms that actually go inside your ear. But these are earbuds. So of course the most important part is how do they sound? Pretty darn good. Oh, hard to hold. Uh, we've got a single driver design, but Eco's claim to fame is using high quality internals and tuning through interior molds. I mean, this is kind of how all earbuds work. The shape of the earbud contributes to the sound you hear, but Eco puts a lot of that forward in their marketing materials. Their frequency response graph feels pretty trustworthy. They show this dedicated spike at 9K that I'm not sure I can specifically hear, but on the whole, I like what's happening with these earbuds. When we talk about headphones, I feel like I, I need to keep reiterating that there are different tools for different jobs. Some headphones I trust more for field recording, some for mixing in a studio, some just for entertainment. The OH2 look like professional IEMs, but the sound is a little warmer and a little more mellow than I would prefer for mixing. Even the Eco page has some passing reference to a dessert headphone. I don't think I've ever heard that phrase before, but I like the idea of it. What's funny for my ears, I've seen a lot of people talk up that this is Eco's warmest or bass heaviest earbud. The lows come in thicker and compared to the other Eco I've listened to, I would agree, but these are not bassy in a broad sense. There's a fuller representation to the low end than on the gems that I recently reviewed, but these are certainly not fat, at least not to my ears. What I love is this rounder sound. I like coming back to the word mellow. I think a lot of attention has gone towards reducing fatigue. So the highs are clear and present, but they don't get shrill. Ditto, the lows are full with a lot of clarity, but they don't over rumble your skull. A specific example, listening to a track like Northside Gal from JD McPherson, often the upright bass overpowers the rhythm guitar in this mix, but the OH2 give me some oomph on that bass. They maintain that great 50s era distortion and tape saturation on vocals and tucked neatly into the background. There's that rockabilly freight train backup from the guitar. There's nothing hyped about the OH2. It's not like that guitar has been yanked out of the mix and shoved up your nose. It's just given a little bit of room and it's present. So it's a really sweet, dessert sounding earbud. The stereo range does feel a bit limited. Music doesn't quite reach your peripheral vision. It sounds sort of more forward and reined in to me. And also these are not the most isolating earbuds. A little more noise gets through than I would personally prefer. Again, I do not believe these were intended for any kind of pro use, but sometimes it's fun to double dip. Like maybe you could use these as field monitors if you can't mix with them but not so much here. You are gonna be fighting a little bit more noise. The flip side of that, if you don't like that stuffy ear, hyper isolated sound of professional field monitors, these are probably gonna be your jam. When we pack all this up and when we can have this much fun with a little earbud, and especially when there's some thought on a person wearing these for longer listening sessions and trying to avoid fatigue, it just reinforces why I like this brand. You know, a little twist here, a fresh consideration there, and it shows you don't have to go overboard on tech or find something revolutionary or exotic to carve out your own unique sound. Kind of like a fun little dessert. 
for your ears. I will of course leave more information on Eco products, especially the OH2, links down below this video in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching, sharing, and subscribing. Supporting the channel, always greatly appreciated through those links underneath the video. Maybe you're shopping a little merch. There's a full collection of all my affiliates and partnerships on somegadgetguy.com, or you might consider joining the list of names scrolling by on your screen from my Patreon, patreon.com slash somegadgetguy. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet, at somegadgetguy on the Twitters and the Twitch, and the Facebooks and the Instagrams, and I will catch you all on the next review.